Hi, my name is Keith Johnston. I'm one of the developers on Contraption Maker, and I was going to show you one of the new features that we're going to have in 1.1. So up until now, you've been able to publish puzzles, contraptions, but in 1.1, we're introducing something new, which is called a mod. And we're going to be shipping uh, a few demo mods with the game, uh, with the update for 1.1. This one is called Flappy Tim, which you're probably familiar with. The uh, game mechanic is pretty simple. I'm pressing the space bar to cause Tim to flap, and um, just trying to get to the end of the level. And this uh, was constructed in uh, make mode using our new script editor. Uh, we also have a pinball game, simple little pinball game. And here you can see we have like a little score being updated every time the ball hits one of the bumpers. Whoops. And the last one that we are going to be shipping is this platformer game. And this is pretty uh, neat. You can go left and right with the arrow keys. Jump up. Double jump. Um, and uh, the really neat thing is that you can interact with everything in the game the physics are just the same as they are in contraption mode. So I can shove this bowling ball over, it turns the fan, gets this going. Now I can finally get past the gap here. So, uh, what does this look like in make mode? I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, the pinball mod. Get rid of some of these other windows. This is a nice one. Code is very simple. Um, so there's a few uh, standard functions that get called by the game. Uh, one of which is the collision function. So here you can see where we're uh, testing to see if we've collided with a pinball bumper and repeating the score. Uh, if we hit a wall, then if the ball count is less than or equal to zero, the game is over. Otherwise, we just reset the ball. And here's where we're updating the score text. And uh, this on start function is the one that gets called uh, when the game first starts. And I can edit this, then hit play. So I can test the level out over here. And one of the other really neat things is that, you know, you're editing not just the code, but you're editing the, the level at the same time. So if I want to drag out a wall uh, so that the ball can't come back in, um, I can do that live. So now the ball doesn't go over to the right of the bumper. Or it's a lot harder to make it go over the right. Um, so let's see if I wanted, to, for example, to make the uh, right now the ball is resetting automatically uh, every time the ball dies. Um, I want to make it so that the ball um, that I have to hit the up arrow to make the ball launch. So I'm going to create a new variable here, ball is dead. And uh, when the game first starts, I'm going to set ball is dead to true. And now I don't want to add a force to the ball. Um, and here, where right here is where the ball is not, uh, the ball count is still um, less than or equal to zero, and we're setting this force. Instead, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to set the ball is dead to true here. So now this is uh, where we actually set the ball up and, and launch it. So what I want to have happen now is I want to actually have that happen in another callback, um, which is in the on key up. And that uh, function will always get the variable for the key code. And in on key up, I want to say if key code equals to the up arrow and the ball is dead, we don't want people to be able to launch the ball while it's in flight. Then I'm going to take this code here and move it down here. So now we're saying that uh, when the ball is dead and I press the up arrow, it will relaunch the ball. And of course, then also the ball is now alive. So. The ball is dead is false. Okay, I think that does it. Oh, I also, uh, there's one more thing. 
if uh, when the ball hits the kill wall we really don't want it to um, play the animation if the ball is already dead so we really only want to do this if the ball is not dead okay I think that'll do it let's give it a shot okay so the ball is sitting there waiting I hit the up arrow the ball is launching and boom ball is dead up arrow launches it again and I get one more ball game over so that was just a example of how you can uh, quickly modify scripts and um, update your, your your mods and of course then I can publish this to the level you'll be able to um, you know clone existing mods and make your own versions of them even if you just want to modify the level uh, or you can modify the script and make a whole new type of game so look forward to this in 1.1 coming soon <laughs>